Oh, from Alpha. What is it? How can you access it? What can you do with it? And so on. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. So this is a Mathematica tutorial because we're going to see that we can access Wolfram Alpha through Mathematica and ask a number of interesting questions. Okay, so first of all, I have the Wolfram Alpha website open. Okay, so let's ask a first question. Like, um, where is Caloundra? If you don't know, uh, I've got Caloundra in the background. A nice beach with a river next to it in Queensland. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what the answer is. So here we see that it knows that uh, Caloundra is in Australia. Caloundra, Queensland, that's the location. All right, then it tells me basically a map, how to get there from Brisbane. Uh, it knows that I am in Brisbane. For example, if I ask, what is the price of Apple stocks? Enter. And we wait. Okay, Apple, it's interpreted that as a price. And then we see that it is $172.97. But you look here and that says Saturday, the 23rd of February, all right, because it's Saturday in Australia and it's Friday in the USA. So this is in Australian dollars. So it's interpreting my location and giving me the answer according to where I am. All right, but you can do other things like calculate with it. So let's have a look. 5 minus 3.8. Enter. And we'll get the answer, 1.2. But it also interprets this on the number line and shows me that as a fraction. Gives me another, uh, another thing that I might be interested in, several others. Okay, so that's the, web, the website Wolfram Alpha. It is www.wolframalpha.com. And you just have a little window here, you, you can ask your questions. So you can ask just about everything like um, who is Tom Jones? Let's see. Okay, person. Now this says it's a politician, right? But I was thinking of the uh, musician, singer. So if I click on this, what do I get now? Okay, so it gives me the person's full name, their date of birth, and even a photo of, of uh, the singer. All right, which you can see there. Okay, that's interesting. Now, how else can you access it? Well, you can access it on your phone, all right? It's fairly inex in inexpensive as a phone app and quite convenient because if you are, for example, Sitting on the beach here in Caloundra, well, you can get on Wolfram Alpha and ask any question that you like, like convert um, liters to gallons, meters to feet, and so on. Or you can ask a more serious question, such as uh, a computational question that you would think that Mathematica would know the answer to. Well, because Wolfram Alpha on my phone can usually interpret Mathematica code and answer my question in Mathematica syntax. Okay, that's pretty amazing because sometimes I'm sitting on the beach, like here, for example, and I want to ask a computational question like that, and I can type in my code, like what I would use in Mathematica, and get an answer like what I would get in Mathematica from Wolfram Alpha on my phone. Okay, so that's a second way to access and use Wolfram Alpha. Now there's another way, okay, so I'm going to open up a Mathematica notebook. So this is a topic I did earlier on LaTeX. Okay, so now I'm going to come up, come down, sorry, and uh, open up a new cell. And I'm going to put in equals equals, okay? So this 
turns into this st orange star with the equal sign there. Okay, so what I can do with this is I can ask my question. So, how much is the gold price? Now you see I'm asking this sort of thing in plain English and usually Wolfram Alpha can understand what I'm on about. Okay, so it interprets this gold price, commodity price, so it knows that it's a commodity and in Australian dollars it's $1,862.81 per troy ounce. Okay, an ounce is pretty small. And then it gives me a price chart on the Looks like a log scale, or no, I can convert to log scale. Okay, so this is the usual scale, but I can convert to log, and so on. Okay, that's useful, because then I can get some information here and, and possibly continue and do some um, deeper calculations from within Mathematica. All right, that's all I have for you for now. Hope you enjoyed this, see you next time.